Gunnery Sergeant Carlos Hathcock had 93 confirmed kills of enemy personnel during the Vietnam War, but he estimated the actual number to be between 300 and 400. This makes him the deadliest sniper during the war. In 1959, when he was 17, Hathcock enlisted in the U.S. Marines. By that point, Hathcock's shooting skills were highly advanced. When he was 23, he won the Wimbledon Cup, the premier American marksmanship championship. A year later, he was deployed to Vietnam. Hathcock earned the nickname White Feather thanks to the white feather on his bush head that dared the enemy troops to spot him. Kills during the Vietnam War had to be accounted for by a third party in addition to the sniper and the sniper's spotter. Officially, Carlos Hathcock had 93 confirmed kills. And officially, Hathcock believed he killed between 300 and 400. In one of his more renowned stories, Carlos Hathcock killed an enemy sniper through the enemy's own rifle scope. Another one of Hathcock's most notorious kills was that of the woman sniper called Apache. Apache was known for ambushing and torturing Marines. We wanted Apache bad, Hathcock recalled. For weeks, the snipers would go out every morning in search of Apache. Then, Late one afternoon they spotted a woman who matched the description traveling up a small mountain with a group of men. Hathcock noticed she had a rifle with a scope. Once she reached the top, Hathcock fired and Apache collapsed. Then the North Vietnamese government put a bounty of $30,000 on Hathcock's head. After 13 months of dangerous missions, Hathcock succumbed to burnout. He was discharged in 1967 and rejoined his wife and son back home in Virginia. But he missed the Marines more than he realized and re-enlisted one week later in 1969. On September 16th, a personnel carrier Hathcock was aboard was struck by a 500-pound mine. The vehicle burst into flames and Hathcock was thrown from it. He lost consciousness briefly, before climbing back to pull seven Marines out from the burning vehicle. Suffering severe third-degree burns, Hathcock had to be medically evacuated, thus ending his career as a sniper. He was awarded the Purple Heart and Silver Star for his bravery and sacrifice.